What's up, guys? We're here with Man Overboard. How you guys doing today? Sure, Sweet, man. Sweet. Sweet. So, once you say your name, what you guys do in the band? I'm Nick. Uh, I play bass and sing. I'm Zach. I sing and play guitar. Sweet. So, uh, get things started. What kind of makes you guys' music different? What kind of sets you guys apart from all the other bands? Uh, I think it's just about, I guess, where we come from. Really, it has. I feel like, especially our new record, kind of sounds like where we're from. Where we're from, New Jersey. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, I think every band know. you can like listen to. Them. Kind of get a feel for where they come from. If you listen to other bands from the area, yeah, yeah. We're pretty New Jersey. How's the New Jersey scene over there? Good. Uh, it's just always been good. It's always been good for it's anything like it's punk it's music or pop punk or emo or hardcore. There's always shows with a lot of kids. Adam. Yeah, this guy knows what we're talking about. Yeah, you know, I uh, so a bit high. I gotta lower the aperture, <laughs> depth of field. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fans and stuff. <laughs> so you guys have been around for quite a while. So like, how did you guys kind of come about? Um, we started in like I think we recorded our first in '08, and yeah. then we uh, we just toured nonstop. We, uh, we we found a way to make the money, some kind of way to record, and we just yeah. hit the road. Yeah, man. So, yeah. Sounds good. How's the tour been so far? You've been on the Sleepy Nation tour for quite a while. So how's it been going so far? It's fine. Uh, we've known the story so far for a while, and it's the first time we've ever toured with them in America, but we've toured with them a lot in uh, England. So we were all pretty tight already, and the other bands are cool. We kind of knew Tonight Alive a little bit too, Yeah. but yeah, everybody's getting sweet. along. The shows have been awesome. It's been awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 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 So awesome. So, awesome. so you guys released a new song, White, White Lies, off the new album, Heart Attack. How yeah. have the fans received that so far? So far, it's been awesome. Yeah, I mean, there's people who aren't in a rush to hit us up and tell us they think it sucks, but... <laughs> yeah, hopefully. There's, I mean, you know, you can only go off, I guess, what people tell you. And people have been saying really nice stuff. Yeah. So thanks! <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been digging it. I've been playing that song a lot. And it's been the words, and it's been the big man. You guys playing that song live? Yeah. yeah. How the fans responded that live? It's been cool, man. Really? Yeah, yeah better than... It gets better. It. Each time it gets cooler. Yeah. Yeah. Has has taken that song last time to catch on that it took some of our older material to catch on. Yeah. yeah. Crowd. Has there been a lot of crowd participation with that? Oh, of course. And that song? Yeah. yeah. Like a weird yeah. amount. Kind of. <laughs> I think when any kid sings along the White Lies on this tour, we're like... Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. They have the internet. We don't think our band's big, so anytime anybody sings any song, we're like, holy shit. <laughs> but especially when it's something really new like that, it's like, whoa. So how is the new record, Heart Attack, going to be different from your previous releases? Um, I think it's a little bit, I mean, obviously we're going to say it's more mature. I mean, we're older, so there's nothing yeah, to we're do older, about that. It's, it's, you're older, you write songs on the road, you're away from home forever. You know what right. I mean? It just is what it is. I don't think it's that different. No. It's not like, it's not, still it's just like a regular It still sounds like a man or boy, we just like, I don't know. We just really focused on like different parts with drums and, and how we, we were we focused sing less on being like that's a more of a rock and roll record we were saying yeah and, uh, yeah we were just not worrying so much about like you know, is this like pop punk or like you know we were just trying to make like sweet solid songs yeah yeah it was Will Yip kind of like helping you guys just oh, yeah. like, distinguish the sound more yep. yeah yeah well, I mean Will's great at what he does well, I mean, having Steve everybody. there producing the record he obviously it's Steve. Not like, that's a great track record. So, I think having both of them in there was awesome. Was so you guys have been doing something really cool uh, recently. So like for five dollars, right? Yeah. You guys can. Do I can buy. <coughs> yeah, new tonight you can buy the tour EP. White Lies is on there from the new record. And there's like a couple older songs. It's like five songs. Yeah. But if you buy it, when the day the record comes out, we'll email you. We email you the record. Why'd you guys decide to do that? It's like a cheap deal, but it seems pretty. It's just an awesome deal. Why'd yeah, you guys decide cool. to do that? Um, I, I mean, honestly, in today's era of being in a band, you want to get as many people to buy your album as you can. Everybody, it's not a secret. Everybody knows about <laughs> downloading and stuff, you know. So if you can make it, it's just like any other product. If you really want people to buy it, make it cheap. So it's not about money. It's about you want a lot of people to have it. Yeah, dude, for so, sure. You know? But so if nice we can get a couple idea. bucks, that'd be nice. So it's like, we'll make a buck. Right? Yeah. Something like Circus Survive said, it's like, you can either buy like a Starbucks coffee yeah. for like five bucks, yeah. and that will last you like, what, an hour? Yeah. yeah. And you can go out and buy your new album for five yeah. bucks, and that will last you forever. So, yeah. it's cool you guys are doing that deal. Yeah. So, you guys have been doing something really Scared cool. Scared or not. <laughs> so, you guys have been doing something really cool. Uh, you guys have a radio 
station yeah. on, online. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, we uh, we got the offer to do a radio show every week. It airs uh, Mondays at 7 on IW.com. And um, I don't know, we, we, we always feel like, I mean, like you interview us, so we're like, why not us interview other people? Yeah, it's yeah. like we've been interviewed a couple yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. Right. it's yeah. like we could sit down and we could bullshit with anybody. Yeah. yeah. They're nice guys, so it's like... I don't know, we took a chance and it's been cool. We get to interview people, it's been we get to play music we want to listen to and Yeah, we play whatever we want. That's all online. So it's like we can curse and shit. <laughs> no it's one like will how it's there. We can tell we talked about smoking weed in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> it's the normal stuff Yeah. Toy, normal you know? shit. yeah. <laughs> What's that with smoking? Can't tell you, man. I'll tell you I gotta kill you. I don't know. You gotta I come find out. I don't know. He's I write it every night. night. Sometimes okay. I change Does it. Does it change all the that all the time? Uh, certain songs. So, sometimes I'll cut songs. Sometimes like I get jammed up. I'll be like, oh, I don't know if people really like this song, so I don't ever play it. Yeah. But then like somebody be like, why didn't you play it? I'm like, oh, I'll put so it. Listen, in. <laughs> so this is that's my that's his that's baby. My I don't know what it's just a stick. People will really ask me that it. a lot, and I'll say, I I really don't know. They think I'm being cool to play different songs each time. Right, yeah. See what the crowd likes, see what they yeah. don't like. I actually make John hide the set list on purpose. Because nothing makes me more mad is when they put it on the thing and everyone's like, oh, they're like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, screw you, dude. I'm like, I'm not a jukebox. Like, <laughs> Why can't you just play everything you've ever written for 45 yeah, minutes? Be, that would be pretty, pretty fun. We play it all the time. So what's been the most fun song to play live on this tour? I like playing teleport. Yeah, yeah. No, I like playing teleport. We started to play Punishment, so I like playing Punishment. And um, we did Dear You. I kind of like Dear You. It goes either way. So Dude, some I, nights, love, I love that full band version. Yeah, Thanks, so, man. some nights it's I so get jammed good. up and I don't put it in. Some nights I do. But I, like, Sometimes I it's, it really it goes really well. And you know, I like playing White Sometimes Lines. Sometimes it does. It's, I think it's cool to play. So. Yeah, I gotta get that diversify. Get people pumped in the album. Yeah. I figured myself coming for me. <laughs> so you guys going to release any new singles before the album comes out? Yeah, we're going to release three more songs before it comes out. We're going to release a... I think we're going to do a video. We just shot a video not too long ago. Is it for a new song? Or yeah, it's for a new song. Not what last. But, um, yeah, I think we're going to do three songs before. That's cool, man. What can, what can people kind of expect in the next song? <laughs> that no idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. Is the record done? Like, yeah, complete? the record's be yeah, done. Yeah. Why the wait till May, man? We're just here singing Summer the songs. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be good. You guys are playing. You guys are playing Warp Tour. Yeah. Like pretty much every band on the tour is also gonna be on Warp Tour. Yeah, so that can be really awesome. Yeah, you guys yeah, played Warp Tour last year. How excited you guys? It's awesome. I'm very excited. My favorite thing about being in the band yeah. touring wise, probably. Yeah. Warp. You guys, you, did you get? Was last year your first time playing Warp Tour? Uh huh. So you guys learned some new things about Warp Tour. Yeah, last that's year. the thing. It's just really like we're going back as sophomores this time. Yeah. yeah it's kind of like. It really is like that vibe. Whoop Tour is like a high school. Same people every day. Yeah. You'll see this, you bump into people. and like, You wait in lunch lines with people. You wait in lunch lines. Or, like, or you know, like, you'll, you'll see, it's just like high school. There'll be someone who you walk past every single day, but you don't know them at all. You just like know their face. Yeah. You're just like, oh, it's that kid. He's carrying it's that, that kid by uh, he walks by, Yeah, he walks by <laughs> carrying that thing every day. Yeah, what is it now? Thing, bro. Did you got t-shirts or yeah. something? <laughs> we got a rock collection. You guys like? Are, would you guys be the boys of of uh, World Tour? Nah, we're yeah, peace. So we're peace and love. I mean, you saw us picking on the American scene. We mess with people a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, we do some pranks. You guys but I'm not gonna be the biggest boy. You guys are the biggest boy on the store. Yeah, always, man. I'm always. Joking. I mean, you're kind of on a lot of tours. He's probably the biggest boy, bully, and I'm like the. I'm the guy that's like, yeah, yeah, it was funny, Nick. Do it again. Yeah. Now do something to him. So you encourage him, but he does all the work. Yeah. He does it. He really, he won't admit it, but he just does it all to make me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Long days, man. Gotta, gotta find some way to like. Got a nice relationship. So take like watch. Yeah. Like check it out. Do something, Dan. Dan. Do something. You, Dan. Hey, hey, talk to my friend like You're that. Worst out. TM I've ever been on tour with. Unbelievable. Sick, bro. Blue suede shoes, man. Yeah, man. Okay, why don't you go tour manage something? Yeah, cool, man. Sick, sick, sick sleeve, bro. Fuck you. <laughs> you guys are hoarding sandwiches. They got some James Jonathan's over there. What are you doing then? Eating sandwiches. Hoarding sandwiches. <laughs> that's it, man. We're not hungry, bro. Got a nice dinner ready to go. But yeah, that's what we do. That's how we do. <laughs> and that's it. That's, that's what, what you, you do. Board on tour. Travis Cook from YouTube wants to know, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Would you use it for good or evil? Uh, fucking fly. Define evil. I fly. Would you be a fly? 
for good or evil? Oh. For me. <laughs> I'd be like, yo. <laughs> this interview. Bang! For me, it's more like, would you use it for creepy stuff or not creepy stuff? To fly? Uh, <laughs> how can you be fr how can you be creepy? No, I'm saying invisibility. So well, invisibility is different. That's creepy right there. The first thing I would do is I would, I would just want I would want to cap for that show. I would want hey, all of that. I would want the power to like make people do stuff like Professor X. Like I'd want to be able to look at you and you just like you're like, oh yeah, here you go, Zach. You just like take all the money out of your wallet and just give it to me and I'm like, thanks, man. Yeah. I walk away. I'm like mind control. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Manipulate that's everyone. Fucking, that's evil. That's like that's like evil. the lowest one in the book. I would but be, it's I would one. fly. Yeah, I mean I you could use it, it for good because you could only use it on evil people. But hey, and that's mind not control fun. them into being good people. Frick, bro. I'm just saying, you could go to some guy who's like, can I, can I rape a small child, for instance? And go like, to that guy and be like, you're not going to rape that small child. And he's like, I'm not. Or you, can go to, or you can go to Chipotle and be like, I'm don't charge me. And I'm yeah. like, here you go, bro. And who cares? It's a big corporation. Yeah. So if time travel was real, what period of time would you want to go to? Back or forward? Any, any time. Yeah. Definitely not going forward. For sure. Why wouldn't you go forward? I would definitely go back, dude. I think I would be valid, valid answer. Dude, I don't want to know. I think about. I would go back to like 1989. Yeah? Your age right now, 1989. No, I have to be, can I pick my age? Yeah, sure. Okay. I would go back to like 1989 and be like 15 or 14. Why would you say that? Because it would just rule, because then I'd be like 20 or something in like 94. And like, and then maybe we'd make a band in like the heyday of like, Stuff, yeah, cool yeah, stuff on MTV and stuff. It was just like things were sweet. There was like Woodstock '94. I would have been like 20, 21, yeah. perfect age to go to that. Like for like Green Day, all. Offspring, Bush, yeah, Nine Inch Nails. Yeah. I'd have been like college age, and then in the '80s when I was like 13, 14, I would have been hanging out in like sweet arcades and stuff, old school skateboards, just regular Nintendo. That. You had thought about this. Yeah. Did, you, did you see my questions before I asked you? No, I've been on tour for a long yeah. time. Yeah, talk about weird stuff. You got time to think about your superpowers. <laughs> yeah. yeah time to Since Justin isn't here, we can talk about him. Yeah, oh, yeah, we can always talk about him. If Justin starred in a TV show, what TV show would he be? Suits. Shit. Suits? Mad Men. Uh, Suits. <laughs> he, would tour, he would star in a... Justin would be like... It would be called now. Taxes. Taxes. And it would be a guy who sits there and that. Take your yeah. it's, a, it's like a stupid sitcom about the shenanigans. He has a cat. They said the co-stars is a cat. Yeah. Does Justin like cats? Justin has a weird obsession with cats. It almost makes you feel comfortable. If you could breed any two animals together, what would you breed? T Tyrannosaurus Rex and a dog, you know? Hey, yeah. there you go. So would, would, it, would you want it to be like a, a, a dog size? Oh, no, nah, maybe. maybe like I, would a do a wolf, I would do a wolf and like a chihuahua or a poodle. So I had like a, a wolf maybe that was wolf. like like this big full grown. Maybe, maybe, like, like, maybe like an eagle and a raptor. Hey, there you go. I just want to be a pterodactyl guy. Check out my new solo album called The Streets of Philadelphia. Cold hearted. You can find me on Lost State Collective, bro. What about you, bro? Um, me and James Corby are making a mom metal band called Scientists of Badness. DJ Poison Apple, the K9 Effector. Uh, coming out on Roadrunner Records. Check your hot topic in a few months. It's real. Heart Attack, May 28th. We worked hard. I'm Nick. I'm Zach. You're watching PT 